Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to Season 9 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today we are starting a brand new world in the Direwolf20 mod pack for Minecraft version 1.12.2, which you can see right down there. Uh, let's get started, shall we? It is a whole new mod pack. There are new mods, there are some favorites returning, there are all kinds of cool, fun things to play with. Uh, you can see I have a test world where I've been playing with some test stuff. We're going to go ahead and create a new world uh, that we will call Let's Play World. And uh, it's going to be survival. And we're going to set up a seed so that if you guys want to play along, you can have the same seed. Uh, however, as usual, I will be creating a world download uh, as soon as the world is generated so you can download the world uh, and play in the exact same world that I'm playing in. Uh, so if you want to do that, that is totally a thing. Uh, so we will call it DW20 112 LP Hooray! With an exclamation point. Does that sound cool? So that is the seed that I just made up off the top of my head. Um, I think we're going to want... Let's see. Biomes of Plenty? Yeah, that sounds cool. Ooh, lots of customization options. Look at all this stuff. I don't know what any of that does, so we're going to leave it alone. Next page. There's three pages of biome settings? Oh my goodness. Uh, neat. So do we want to, do we want, do we want, so last season I didn't do a Biomes of Plenty. Uh, I'm going to think I'm going to do it this time. Because um, that'll be fun. So uh, yeah, that is the seed. If you guys want to create a world that matches it, um, we are going to create this world now. I have no idea what the seed is going to look like. So cross your fingers uh, that it's a good seed. Because I don't know. Here goes nothing. Dun, 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 dun. And as usual, we will have a mod list, and we'll get into that usual episode one kind of stuff uh, that we usually do. Ooh, my oh my. Look at what we have here. Cool. Uh, so we've got some books, as you can see, um, and a pretty nice looking environment. Ooh, fancy. I like. All right, before we do anything... Ooh, I like, the, I like that forest area right over there. Before we get uh, too deep into anything here, let me save and back up this world and so I can upload it for you guys. All right, now we can actually start playing. Uh, so we've got a whole long list of mods. Ooh, I see a nifty little building in the distance there. Should give you a little hint as to one of the mods that is going to be on the pack. I like that I can see that might be a desert biome or a beach biome. I'm not sure because I see some like lavender fields type stuff going on in the distance there. But definitely see. Ooh, what's that floating in the air? Hello, book. Book. Come here, book. Come here. I want that integrated dynamics book. Come here. You know, I can craft it later. Come here, book. You are suspiciously far away. I'm not going to be able to get that thing. So let's get to the top of this mountain and see. Uh, I want to purvey the landscape around me here and see what kind of uh, area we've found in this random seed that I picked. So it looks like we got a decent amount of uh, water in that direction, some nice trees in that direction, a nice kind of flattish field over there. Let's head this way, kind of into this forest, and I want to see what's over in that general direction that way. Um, and we might have a good place to call home. Uh, so while we're exploring this world that we've just found ourselves in, let's talk a little bit uh, about some of the mods that we've gotten sold in this pack. As you can see, uh, there's lots and lots and lots of stuff going on. Um, really a bunch of nice things. Uh, so first off, we've got uh, a returning favorite of mine, actually additions. I take this don't mind if i do actually additions uh nice little tech mod has lots of cool gadgets and features has definitely become a staple of uh several packs all you know tech pack like stuff and uh i'm excited to have that mod back it is uh you know has has a bunch of nifty gadgets and a bunch of nifty components and all that good stuff we've also got akashic tome um those of you who have used uh any kind of Magic mods or, or mods that have books in them. Akashic Tome is definitely a cool, nifty little mod that basically allows you to have multiple books in one item. So you don't have to carry around, you know, 10 different instruction manuals like we're already doing. <laughs> um, so we've got Applied Energistics 2. Um, just like in the 1.10 pack, I went ahead and added both 
uh, applied energistics and refined storage. So once we get down to the alphabet of refined storage, uh, you will see that we have both mods uh, available to us. Um, and that is simply, a, a lot of people frequently ask, like, why have both mods, Dyer? That's weird. No, not really. I, I, I know that some people really like applied energistics and the complexity added by having um, channels and all that good stuff. But then I also know that some people don't like that complexity and they prefer uh, the more simpler approach of refined storage. So I want to give players the choice. So you are welcome to use either refined storage or applied energistics. Uh, this is a pack that is meant for fun. So you are allowed to choose what you get to play with. Cool. Um, so those are, uh, you know, the options with applied energistics and whatnot. <clears throat> We've also got astral sorcery, which you can kind of see in the distance. Uh, if you've seen my recent... Oh, good food. Um, video spotlight on astral sorcery. You might know that it is a really cool and fun and interesting magic-based mod that I am personally excited to try out. I've only ever personally used uh, astral sorcery in, in, in like a creative test world where I was doing testing and whatnot. So I don't actually know, um, you know, like what it's like to realistically play with that mod. So I'm really excited to try it out in like a real legit world and like properly progress through. And honestly, I haven't even played with all the cool things you can get in astral sorcery, um, which, you know, it's also something I'm excited to try out. So that is Astral Sorcery. Uh, let's see, we've got a bunch of mods in here. And I'm gonna list mainly the content mods, like there's a bunch of like libraries and stuff I'm not gonna you know read off to you guys. Uh, but we've got uh, Bad Wither No Cookie Reloaded. Bad Wither No Cookie, simple, straightforward mod. Just makes it so that the Wither sound uh, when you summon him does not play server-wide. Um, because usually in packs like these, you wind up automating that Wither. And uh, everybody on the server kind of gets annoyed when the Wither sound plays, you know. Endlessly. So that's cool. Uh, we've also got baubles. Hooray! Nice bunch of bobble slots there. Um, in addition to that, we've got Better Builder's Wands, which uh, definitely a staple of the pack. Um, had Better Builder's Wands in the last version of the pack, and uh, you know, can't live without it at this point. We've got uh, Benny's Mods. So Benny's Mods is an add-on to forestry, basically, and it adds a bunch of um, trees and bees. So those of you who like to get into the tree breeding and bee breeding mechanics will have lots of options to do so um, because you will have Benny's Mod to uh, really expand on the opportunities there. Biomes of Plenty, which we can obviously see because we're playing in a Biomes of Plenty world. So that's uh, a mod that adds a bunch of different biomes and uh, also adds some, some different blocks and different mechanics to some of the biomes. So you've got some really interesting biomes that we will hopefully be able to check out throughout the world. So Block Craftery uh, is a pretty cool mod. It's, it's kind of like, I don't remember the name of the mod, but it, it basically adds slopes and a couple different things. You basically place these uh, structures in the world and then you right click with them uh, with a block and it'll take on the texture of that block. So that's pretty neat. Um, so definitely looking forward to checking out Block Craftery and trying to have a little fun with, you know, proper building. We'll see. No promises. Will there be a 9 by 9 this season? <laughs> you can probably count on that. Let's, let's, let's not fool ourselves about whose, whose videos we're watching right now. Okay. Uh, so in addition to Block Craftery, uh, we've got Batania, um, a, a well-known magic mod. If you don't know what Batania is, then I must be welcoming you to your first ever modded Let's Play series on anybody's channel ever, because Batania is a really well-known magic-based mod, um, and uh, it's been around forever. So you probably know what Batania is. Hey, check out what I found over here. Neat. Uh, it's one of those nifty little structures from Astral Sorcery. We'll probably come back to this thing um, or find more. But every now and then, there might be a, a treasure chest with loots around here. Sometimes in the corner, there's loots. Sometimes not. That's okay. Um, I want to find a good place to call home. I also wouldn't mind having a little bit of food. Hello, cows. And then we'll get back to checking out what mods we've got. That's a cool... Oh, man, look at that biome in the distance. That is neat. I think that's Lavender Fields, right? Pretty sure that's what the biome is. Looks like a magical forestry-type biome there. 
This area might here doesn't look to be too bad uh, in terms of maybe a place to call home for a bit. I don't know if this will be like my permanent home, but it looks pretty good. Um, we've got some water nearby. We've got a desert not too far off. We've got some nice hills, plenty of trees, and uh, actually a pretty nice little bit of a tree environment going on here. Um, and we should have some nice places to start mining in. Um, is this, this is the lake, okay. I, from a distance, I couldn't tell if that was a lake or like a, like the start of an opening to a cave of some kind, but that's cool. All right. So it is getting a little bit late in the day. So I think what I should do is find some kind of place to call home for the evening uh, so I don't get swarmed by monsters and zombies and all kinds of bad things. Oh, look, there is a mining area here. Look at that. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping to find. A nice spot to start mining in. I don't know like how deep that cave will go. It may end right there. But at the very least, we found some kind of mining game. So that's neat. Let's set up camp like inside this little hill over here, um, just so we have a place to call home uh, before things get too, uh, you know, evil nighttime -y and such. Uh, and then we'll get back into taking a look at what some of the mods we have are. So let's build ourselves a little into the hill area. And we'll dig in. So uh, while we're doing that, let's take a look at some more mods. So we've got, uh, we talked about binnies and biomes of plenty and block crafting and Batania. Um, let's see, we've got chisel, um, you know, standard mod adds a bunch of different blocks uh, for building purposes. Uh, pretty cool mod right there. I would love to find, I have a lot of wood, so at the very least I can make charcoal. Um, wouldn't mind finding a little bit of coal, but uh, I will not, you know, consider it the end of the world if I don't. Let's get, um, some lighting going on here so let's get a couple of uh let's do this for a furnace for us and uh we can probably smelt up a little bit of coal to charcoal uh let's also get ourselves some doors to kind of protect us from all the things that go bump in the night Nice. Should be pretty good right there. I like it. Yeah. All right, did you get me some good stuff? All right. Cool. Uh, so we've got uh, chisel, which we mentioned. We also have chisel and bits, uh, which allows you to basically break blocks into small little bite-sized pieces pretty much every pixel can be broken chisel and bits is a really cool mod for building really small tiny structures i'm not the greatest with that mod because it's more of an artistic style mod like if you're good at making fancy art you will be uh, a lover of chisel and bits i assure you um so in addition to that we've got let's see what's next on the list uh we've got some library stuff we've got compact machines this is a mod i've never really played with on on camera um i've played with it a little bit off camera it's kind of been on my like hey i really like the idea of that mod i want to check it out so compact machines has been added to the pack i've been playing with it a bit in that test world that you saw earlier and it is really pretty neat um basically the way it works is you can build these machines um, that when you place them in the world, they basically link to a little dimension of a specific size. So there's like a three by three and a five by five, seven, seven, nine, nine, 11, 11, and 13 by 13 by 13 sized rooms. Um, the, 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 the dimension that you link to is pretty much uh, like a little, little room that you can link to the outside of the block. It's really cool. Um, and uh, it could be for some fun times. It's pretty much what I'm expecting with compact machines. So that I'm excited to check out. Um, you saw compact solars as well in there, uh, which is basically an add-on to industrial craft, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, we've got cooking for blockheads, which you might have seen as well. Oh good, we got some coal so we can make torches. Hooray! Uh, one piece of coal, but we'll get more here. Cooking for blockheads basically is a, is a little kitchen mod. It, it adds uh, a bunch of kitchen mechanics that you can use to uh, cook a bunch of different types of food. So uh, cooking for blockheads will definitely be cool. If you've watched any of my prior series like Forever Stranded, you've probably seen cooking for blockheads before. All right, so getting myself some torches here. Kind of like the first thing I always do whenever I get established. There we go. 
um, let's get a little bit of lighting going on in this area that we've got set up. Uh, I think we have a light level overlay mod. Yeah, we do. Nice. That's good. Um, we've got another mod called Dank Null, uh, which basically adds um, blocks that can... Uh, it it kind of like works like the Dev Null from uh, the Dev Null mod. Uh, Dank Null basically lets you uh, void items. So when you go mining and you get tons of cobblestone, the Dank Null will help you out with that. Cool. Um, so that's all good stuff. Uh, so we've got some charcoal, which is cool. Let's get uh, a couple chests to store items in here. And uh, then we will be good to maybe start looking at doing a little bit of mining. I'm going to put away a bunch of stuff I don't need right now. Wouldn't hurt to eat some food. Let's do a little bit of that. So we've got some charcoal for cooking stuff now. That's nice. Um, I wouldn't mind a second chest here, and I'm pretty sure I've got the resources for it. Let's do this, that, two of them should be good. And on the top level here, we'll put like resources type stuff. So down here can be like miscellaneous whatever stuff for now, and this will be like important stuff that we'll keep. So I don't need my Astral Sorcery Journal or any of the instruction manuals just yet. Um, I can also put away a few other things. Well, hang on to the wood that I've got and like my basic tools. I don't think I need, hello bad guys. I just need to get rid of this for a sec, thanks. Cool. Um, that'll work. Nice. Uh, definitely gonna want another pickaxe here shortly. Cause we're gonna go mining in a minute. Neat. Uh, we've got some food, which is good. Check. All right, good deal. So another mod in the pack, Dark Utilities. That's the one that adds like the vector plates and uh, a bunch of other traps and other cool nifty blocks and whatnot. Um, let's let's do the, the the thing that I normally do here. So let's, let's see, we're two on that side, two on that side. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just start digging down. Um, and there's obviously uh, some metals here that I didn't pick up yet, but I'll get to them eventually. Copper stuff. Don't think I need copper just yet, but we do have the thermal mods, right? So thermal foundation mods are obviously there. That's a good thing. Uh, in addition to Dank Null and Dark Utilities, we've got Deep Resonance, um, a mod you guys may or may not be familiar with. Um, it adds uh, some some generators for, for generating power. Uh, we'll be playing with Deep Resonance at some point in the future for sure. Uh, let's see, we've got Diet Hopper. That is a nifty mod by Tema. Uh, it basically makes it so that hoppers do not take up a full block space with their bounding box. It's pretty neat. If you know what that means, you know it's cool. If you don't know what it means, don't worry. You'll find out pretty soon. Uh, what do we find here? Ooh, appetite. Nice. That's not bad. And aluminum. Beautiful. Aluminum's nice to have. I will mine out that vein. I don't know how common aluminum is in this world, Jen, but it's nice to have. There's some good early game pickaxes you can get with aluminum. Okay, so continuing to dig down. Let's see, uh, we've got Draconic Evolution. Um, definitely know that that's one of Dyer's uh, mods that he enjoys playing with. It's a very powerful, very end game mod. So it's not, it's not cheap to get into, it, it's a very expensive mod. But once you start playing with it, uh, it also has some really, really powerful and arguably overpowered features. And that's fine because uh, sometimes being a little bit overpowered is a little bit fun. So uh, Draconic Evolution definitely made a return to the DW20 pack, which is cool. Um, we've got the elevator mod. So pretty much works like the old open, uh, open blocks elevators. Those are cool. Uh, we've got Ender Storage. So that's the one that adds Ender Tanks and Ender Chests and the different colored Ender Chests and you can lock them with diamonds and that kind of stuff. Uh, we've got uh, environmental Tech. Environmental Tech was not in the DW21.10 pack. I looked into making it uh, be in the 110 pack, but at the time the mod seemed a little bit too powerful. Um, the mod author has changed the way environmental tech works quite a lot. 
Um, and you can see here, there's basically lots of different tiers of different controllers and stuff. So it's still pretty powerful, but it looks like it takes a while to get into some of that stuff. And uh, it's it's a cool mod. It has like void miners, so you can automatically get resources with large amounts of power um, and all kinds of other good stuff. So environmental tech should be a lot of fun to play with. We've also got exchangers. If you watched my Age of Engineering series, I installed the exchangers mod uh, that basically uh, allows you to exchange blocks with uh, from, from one type to another. So there's a bunch of different exchangers available to you, uh, different tiered exchangers. Um, so, you know, for example, if you have a wall of cobblestone, you can quickly swap that into a wall of smooth stone or bricks or something else. So that's pretty cool. Hey, look, my first iron. Woot. Uh, so we've also got extra utilities too. Speaking of Tema, uh, adds a bunch of nifty gadgets and toys. Definitely looking forward to, to having that in the pack again, as usual. Uh, we've got Extreme Reactors, which is uh, the spiritual successor to big reactors. That's one that adds those giant multi-block reactors and turbines, useful for creating large amounts of RF. Um, so Extreme Reactors, big reactors, you know, that's kind of the gist. Uh, so we've got pretty good going here. Let's go back up and get ourselves a new pick and drop off some of this loot. I, I got some iron, so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get ourselves uh, an iron pick at this point. Um, that would be cool. And hey, look, it's daytime. That's nice. Might want to look into some kind of farming or food or something, but we'll get to that. Um, what can I use to, you know, do something? I don't think I have access to any of this stuff yet. Um, I get one crushed iron for doing that. Pulverizer, there's lots of machines that can duplicate your iron. I'm wondering if there's any that we have access to now. So the quartz grindstone, but I don't think we have any quartz yet. Um, we haven't found any of that. So let's just go ahead and smelt three iron uh, for the sake of getting stuff. Okay, got our iron done in our furnace there. So we can go back to mining, hooray. Um, let's also get ourselves one of these dudes and that should be good to have. Um, so back to checking out what mods we've got in this cool pack of ours. Uh, flat colored blocks, very useful for those of you who might get into uh, some chisel and bits type work. So that's a nifty mod that just adds a bunch of blocks. Hey, speaking of quartz, literally like two blocks away and we would have gotten quartz. That's funny. Nice. So if we want to do some basic grinding early on, we can. Um, but we probably won't need to. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so we've got forestry in the pack, uh, a, a mod that adds a bunch of things like bees, but also uh, some nifty mechanics for, for auto farming and that kind of stuff. So we'll definitely check out some forestry stuff this season. Uh, we've got FTB utilities, which you can see up here, useful for claiming chunks and, and, and chunk loading and that kind of stuff. If you saw my last Let's Play series, you know how that mod works. Um, and it is becoming a frequently added pack uh, or mod to most of the packs that the FTB team puts together. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got, ooh, I found myself a little cave. Hold on. I think that's an actually additions cave. I'm almost certain that that's what that is. I would like, all right, so it does appear that that's what that is. So actually additions adds these uh, little bio caves, which are cool. Um, and there's usually some good loots in them. So not opposed to exploring this. And oh good, charged quartz. If I, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do actually additions or refined storage. Um, I just finished the Age of Engineering pack in which I did a lot with actually or with applied energistics. Um, so I will probably wind up going refined storage this season, but we'll see. Okay, let's just make sure we have a way out of here in case there's monsters, because there very much could be. Black Quartz, nice, from Actually Editions. Okay, good deal. So we have a way out of this nasty looking cave. Cool. What is this thing? Light Blue Crystal Cluster. I don't know what that is. From Actually Editions. I don't know. Oh, neat. That's cool. Did not, uh, did not know that was a thing. That existed. Cool. Uh, so another mod we have in the pack, Funky Locomotion. Yeah, Funky Locomotion's back. It is a frames-based mod, also created by Tema. Um, 
it uh, pretty much allows you to push all kinds of blocks around and create some funky, cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to coming up with some neat designs with Funky Locomotion because um, it's a it's a fun mod to play with. I've always been into frames mods because you can just do so much fun stuff with them. Um, so I'm excited to see that one is back. Um, so Funky Locomotion will be something we definitely play with um, throughout the series here. Let's see if I can get into this tree and cut it down because usually in these in these actually additions caves you will find uh treasure chests hidden in the tree leaves so if we can get rid of all these leaves we can find that easily i hope there we go clearing out a bunch of wood uh in addition to uh Funky Locomotion, we've got Gendistry. So those of you who are into bees but are not into the amount of time it takes to breed and wait for bees, Gendistry is the answer to your problems. It basically helps you uh, bee breed a little bit easier. Um, it is definitely a powerful mod when it comes to bee breeding, but it's also, you know, pretty cool and fun. So another one of those might be a little overpowered, but overpowered in a fun way kind of mods. Nice. Uh, we've got uh, the... Um, Advanced Generators mod. That is the one that adds multi-block generators. Um, it's uh, one that I played with again in uh, the Age of Engineering pack. <coughs> and it was pretty cool, and I enjoyed playing with it. So uh, I made it a point to include it in this pack. Um, you can make some really cool multi-block generators with it. Um, it's a pretty powerful mod. Good way to get some uh, mid-game RF. Cool. All right, so looks like no luck on a treasure chest in this room. I think that zombie. Uh, what's next on our list of mods? We've got uh, the gravestone mod, which basically when you die, it leaves a gravestone behind with your corpse. Good thing to have. Uh, let's see. Oh, is there like a nice little... Because that would be great. I love finding nice caves to go mine in because usually you will find ores a lot more quickly with that method. Uh, gravestone. Uh, we've got immersive engineering. Uh, immersive engineering, obviously, uh, big multi-block machines and generators and all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, a skeleton. Hold on. I'm not prepared for you, sir. Nice. Cleared out. So immersive engineering is a cool mod. Uh, all of them are cool mods, obviously, because I include them in my pack. Basically, the rule for my pack, uh, for those of you who've not uh, played, you know, Daryl 20 packs in the past, uh, the general rule is, A, I try not to change much, if anything, of any of the mods. Because the intention of this pack is um, to be an introductory, an introductory mod pack for, for players who haven't used mods before. So I want you to be able to learn the mods without a lot of complexity added and without a lot of like tweaking. I don't want you to, to learn a bunch of mechanics and then find out that's not really how the mod works. The mod pack author changed it, right? Um, there's a lot of mod pack makers who make much better mod packs than me, who've, who've made some really complex um, and difficult mod packs by changing recipes, and that's a really cool thing, and I love playing those packs, but that's not what the DW20 pack is about. The Daryl 20 pack is all about, um, you know, I'm new to mods, I want to see how they work, and I want to have an easy introduction to them. So that's pretty much what the purpose of this mod pack is. But it's also meant to be fun for people who've played with lots of mods before, right? Um, like me, I've played with tons of mods, and I always enjoy playing my own packs, because they're just supposed to be fun and enjoyable and, and have a bunch of cool stuff. Um, so, uh, we talked about immersive engineering. We have Industrial Craft 2. That's pretty much one of the oldest mods available. Industrial Craft has been around since... It, Industrial Craft may have been one of the first major mods to come out. Like, the very first. And Industrial Craft 2 came out a little bit later, which is basically, uh, you know, a, a whole rewrite of the mod, and that's been around for years now. Uh, so Industrial Craft was one of the first mods I ever played with. Um, and Industrial Craft 2 is, uh, you know... It's pretty awesome. Ah, two skeletons. That's great. Hold on. Yeah, shoot each other, would you? Hold on, hiding. Hiding. Come here, skeletons. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so we talked about industrial craft, uh, industrial foregrowing. Or, or, yeah, industrial foregrowing. That is pretty cool. Uh, foregoing, industrial foregoing 
is basically a spiritual successor to Mind Factory Reloaded, which was a spiritual successor to Mind Factory. Um, so Mind Factory Reloaded is basically um, industrial foregoing and uh, vice versa. So it's it's cool that we'll have you know MFR back. So all the features of, of uh, Mind Factory Reloaded, like the mob imprisonment tool and skeletons shooting you when you're trying to talk about what mods are in the pack, um, among other things, are in here. So that's cool. Probably shouldn't be exploring caves too much. Aha! Take that, creeper. Nice. We've got a decent amount of loots here so far. Uh, I'm not going to go too far. I, I, I do want to probably head back to my base at this point. Bring back some of the iron I've got, among other tools and resources. Um, and I'd like to quickly get into some technology. Um, we haven't even gotten through the mod list yet. Let's see. What's next on the list? Uh, so we talked about industrial. So we've got integrated dynamics and integrated tunnels. Uh, really neat automation mods. You might have seen my spotlights on them. Um, very, very powerful uh, and complex automation tasks are available with those two mods. Um, so we'll definitely be looking at that for some of our more complicated automations that we're going to want to get into. Um, some mod, most mods are pretty straightforward and you can automate a lot of things, but sometimes you need like really fine-grained control. And until those mods came around, uh, integrated dynamics and tunnels, that fine-grained control, the only way you could do it was with a mod like Computer Craft or Open Computers. Um, and a lot of people were not fans of writing code and programming in Minecraft. Uh, so integrated dynamics kind of bridges the gap there. It's, it's, a, it's a way without having to write programming uh, to be able to create complex um, rules and logic to, to fulfill certain tasks. And it's really cool. Um, good times all around. So let's get a crafting. I don't need that stuff. And we'll just do like one of these picks for now, just because I happen to be down here. Um, so we've got the integrated uh, tools, inventory tweaks, iron backpacks, definitely a cool mod. Adds backpacks that you can hook up. Uh, I played with it in 110 packs, so you guys should be familiar with iron backpacks. Um, Really useful for carrying around lots of extra stuff, and then you can set up all kinds of rules about auto-picking up certain items. So you can have a backpack dedicated to all the ores that you pick up. We'll be getting into that mod pretty early on. Uh, iron chests, which is just, you know, upgraded chests. That mod is also a stable that's been around for years, uh, so it's good to have that back in the pack. Uh, I don't need two bows, probably. Can I, can I do this? I always forget. Yes, I can. Me. May or may not want to do that. We'll see. Yeah, we definitely need to get back home. Do I have, oh, I have a carrot on me. That's neat. I will probably want to go plant that. We should set up a little farm or something soon. But I like that this cave system is here because I'm going to totally explore that a lot more uh, in the very near future. That's where I'm going to go get a lot of resources from. Well, yeah, we're going to have to do this. Okay. So back up to the base, we've got, uh, let's see, journey map is in the pack, obviously. You see that going on here. Cool. Very, very useful mapping tool. Pretty much became the de facto standard of uh, map mods. Um, we've got JEI, obviously, the stuff that I've been looking up items in. We've got light level overlay. That's that thing. Lost Cities is a mod by McJady. Um, that basically adds a bunch of world gen structures to the game, uh, and they might be fun to explore. So we're gonna totally check them out uh, as well here. So let's put some of this stuff all away. I do wanna hang on to the wood that I have though. You can go in there. Uh, so it's rainy and gross out, which is great. Uh, I wish I could sleep through the night, but I can't just yet. I haven't seen any uh, sheep or anything. That's okay. Uh, let's. Not great on food, which is, of course, you know, a thing. Berry bush? Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, right click down. Cool. And they will regrow their berries, I presume. Okay. Not too many monsters out here. I wouldn't mind finding a couple sheep. Oh, well, let's come back in a sec. 
So guys, as much as I find it hard to believe, we've reached the end of this episode. So uh, we've got a basic base set up. We talked a lot about some of the mods that are in the pack, kind of giving you guys an idea of what's in there. Uh, we'll come back next episode and continue talking about some of the mods that are in the pack. Uh, obviously, this uh, pack is available on uh, the Curse Client or, um, you know, Curse Forge or whatever. You can go download the pack and play it. Um, Curse Client is definitely the one that I recommend. The Twitch Client, it's now called. Um, so either Google for Twitch Client or Curse Client, you'll, you'll find it. And uh, yeah, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed Episode 1 of Season 9. We will come back next episode. Those of you who are new to the series, we don't do much mining and stuff on camera. Usually past the first couple episodes. We will be getting into a lot of technical mods and a lot of magic-based mods very soon. For now, take it easy.